hello guys welcome to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now we are going to solve this problem which says that for the situation described in figure problem 245 determine the value of alpha for which the tension in row bc is a small a is possible and we have to find the corresponding value of the tension in row bc that minimum tension in row bc so this is the situation we are given and as we know that the the row the tension in row bc must be acting like this but we have to find that angle alpha for which this tension in row bc must be minimum and the tension in row ac must be acting along this particular line which should be making five degree angle with the vertical now in this problem the only the weight is known the tension in bc is not known and the tension the magnitude of the tension in rope ac is not known and we are given the direction of the tension in rope ac so now if we look into the free body diagram this is my point c and at point c this is tbc and since we do not know the magnitude of this tbc this is just the assume length of the arrow since the length of the arrow represents the magnitude so this is just an approximation and here we have tac the tac mag magnitude is also not known but the direction of tac is known so now as we know that this point c must be in equilibrium under the action of these three forces so if this point c is in equilibrium under the action of these three forces they must make a close triangle by head to tail rule so we know the direction and magnitude of uh, this weight which is acting in the downward direction so we can draw that weight this blue arrow represent the 1200 pound weight and as we know that uh, by by head to tail rule these three forces must make a close triangle so we can say that tbc uh, must be acting like this somewhere like this and TAC must be acting in this direction from the head of TBC to the tail of that weight they must make a close triangle so the the magnitude of uh, TAC is not known and the magnitude of TBC is not known and we are required to find the minimum tension in bc rope so, so we know only the direction of tac we know that this tac must be acting along this dashed line the length of the tac vector must may vary that depends on the length of tbc i will remove this tac since we do not know the magnitude of this tac and the the minimum length of tbc will define the magnitude of tac but we know that this tac uh, must be acting along this dashed line so we can move the head of this tbc along this dashed line some the the head of this tbc must intersect with this dashed line in order to make a closed triangle so as we can see that if i move this tbc along this dash line which is the line of action of that tbc along which uh, that uh, tac will be acting so we have the only choice to move the head of this tbc along this dash line since this the, uh, from the head of this tbc that tac must start in order to make the closed triangle so now if i move um, this tbc in this direction the length of tbc increases and if i move it in the upward direction the length of tbc decreases until a particular point after which the length start increasing again so here somewhere here we have that point and at that particular point this tbc seems to be perpendicular with the line of action of that tac so so from this we can conclude that when this tbc is perpendicular with the line of action of the tac its magnitude is minimum 
So the condition for TBC to be minimum, it must be making 90 degree angle with, with the line affection of TAC. So we can say that for So now once we know the magnitude of TBC, the minimum TBC, we can again place the, that TAC along this uh, green dashed line, which tells us the direction of TAC. But the tail will start from the the tail will start from the head of this TBC and it will end the head will end on the tail of that weight. So this so now we have this particular triangle when TBC is minimum. So now this is this is 1200 pounds. This is TBC and this is TAC and for minimum uh, TBC here we must have that 90 degree angle. And now we know that um, this particular angle is 5 degree this is given. This the, the line of action of this TAC or we can say that the the tension in rope AC must be making 5 degree angle. This is given in the problem statement. So this is making 5 degree angle and and as we can see that now this is a right angle triangle. So we can say that TBC is the the magnitude of TBC will be equal to the the sine component of this weight. Or we can apply the sine law. We can say that TBC divided by sine of 5 degree. This must be equal to 1200 divided by sine of 90 degree. This is 1200 and the opposite angle is 90 degree. So sine of 90 is 1. And if we cross multiply then TBC magnitude is equal to 1200 sine of 5 degrees. So this means that the... The magnitude of the minimum tension in BC rope is equal to the the sine component of that 1200 pound weight. So 1200 sine of 5 degrees will give us the magnitude of TBC. So 1200 sine sine of 5 degrees gives us 104 point TBC is is approximately equal to 105 pounds. And this is that minimum TBC. And then we were asked to find the corresponding, uh, we were asked to find the value of alpha. Now, as we can see that here in this situation, the alpha is the angle with the horizontal in the, the angle can be in the clockwise direction and it can be in the anti-clockwise direction. So here, if I draw a horizontal line here, if I draw a, horizontal line here like this so as we can see that this horizont this is the horizontal line this is the horizontal line and this is the vertical line so they must make a 90 degree with each other and as we can see that this arrow is making 90 degree with this TAC as well so if the angle between this and this is 5 degree and if these two lines are perpendicular with this and this, so the angle between this TBC and this horizontal line must be 5 degree angle as well. So the angle between TBC and the horizontal line is alpha and that alpha is 5 degrees. Or in other words, we can find this angle if, if we know this particular angle. So this is 90, this is 5, so this will be 85. And this whole angle is 90 degree. So 80, uh, we want to find this small angle, the angle of uh, this TBC with the horizontal. So this is 90 and this is 85. So 90 minus 85, this is 5 degree. So the alpha angle is 5 degree when TBC is minimum. And that 5 degree is measured with the horizontal in the counterclockwise direction. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Let me know in the comments if this helps in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Vector Mechanics for Engineers by Bear and Johnston.